Matt, there's not many machines like this in the marketplace, is there? This is the SW12 R2 here we've got on show at Mac 2018. What, why isn't there other machines like it? What's different? This is really unique. This is the smallest twin platinum machine on the market. We haven't got any competition this size machine. Uh, very fast, very powerful, and small footprint. Uh, tw twin platinum, then. So we're talking on the... Is that just uh, operating on the main spindle? Yes. So you could do balance turning, you could do balance milling multiple operations. So if you're balancing, that essentially could half the cycle time of a machine in operation? Yep. So you say, for instance, you're doing a hexagon, it's only three passes. Right, okay. And then this is also guide bush, non-guide bush, isn't it? Yes. So extra flexibility for customers just doing the short parts, or if you do long parts, you need the guide bush. And, and how long would that take to go from one to the other? It's roughly around about a half hour with practice. Okay, and today's demo, your machine in some stainless steel, which I think is good on a smaller machine because it's demonstrating its stability, isn't it? Yeah, I mean, this is a powerful machine. It's 3.7 kilowatt motors on both spindles, so it's normally that kind of power you see on a 20 millimeter machine. And does it mean the max bar diameter is that 12 mil? You can stretch it up to 13. All right, and then tell me about the, the software. One of your colleagues earlier was mentioning to me about the optimization of the programming. What, what, what's that that's featuring here? So on a lot of the uh, high-level star machines, we've got uh, star optimization software built into the FANUC control. So basically, when the program's all loaded in, it'll look to see where all the idle times are and uh, try and reduce the cycle time where possible. And is there any examples of the kind of impact that that's had with maybe one of your customers? Is there a, a reduction value? We've done some tests at our place in Star in uh, Derby, and we had on one machine a reduction of up to 5% in cycle time. Really? That's it's, quite, quite significant. Yeah, it's application dependent. Now, you also uh, took an order for, I believe, eight of these machines recently to a customer. That, that's some deal. It's huge. <laughs> what were they making? It's all in the electronics industry. And this has got the HFT installed on it as well. So, and I suppose that's demonstrating the fact that HFT is very effective with, with stainless, steel, uh, stainless steel materials. Is that right? Yeah, absolutely. So no problems with like, the swarf hanging off the tools anymore for a lot of customers. And on some jobs, we've found that we can reduce the cycle time on some materials. But. All right, let's summarise it for me. It, mm. I, I, you, you're, you represent um, Star in the southwest of the country. Uh, when you're out selling this, what, what, what's the pitch? On this particular machine, small footprint, very powerful. If you're doing uh, complex work or if you just need to get the work out very quickly, this is the machine to be going for. Sold. Cheers, Matt. Thank you.